All right, well, g'day and welcome back. So just another quick update video today. If you tuned in last week, you would have seen that we've uh, made quite a few additions now to the Botanic Gardens and the Entry Inn. We've now got a uh, lovely little stairwell that comes up here and goes underneath our ramp, coming into the entry across to the Flame Shrine and then into the gardens themselves. So all of that's changed very recently and you'll see as well that we've matched up the tarred shingle roof block with the uh, railings that run all throughout the uh, platform along here and the walkway. Now you may have noticed that there's a new tree here. I'm doing a little bit of a an experimentation kind of game at the moment with the planting of trees I've planted I've taken the one out from down here and uh, it was up there and I planted in I can't remember which one it was it might have been a nomad highland slender and I did have another tree growing up here but it ended up being too huge so I'll throw a slender in there and the problem with the planting of all these trees is and I planted another one here as well and we planted another one right here also the problem with planting all these trees is I keep forgetting which one I planted so I never know which tree is what it's not like you can kind of come up to it and identify it it doesn't really sort of say you know so you have to kind of uh, rely on your memory <laughs> with these things but I think at this stage I don't mind the tree. It does look kind of very busy and very rainforesty, but I, I think it kind of fits with what I'm trying to go for with the vibe of the botanic gardens anyway. So I'm, I'm not minding it at all. So in terms of what we've done extra uh, to the base in general, we've fixed up this path here. So it's now a little bit flatter. I've started doing some alterations and digging out for the final survivor base here for the alchemist we haven't done any more work as yet on this stone here that's because I spent an awful lot of time kind of fixing up this path and planting out flowers al along the bottom of this massive old tree here and doing all these stairways and these railings and whatnot they're a bit of a, a mess around But what I was talking about with the uh, little section here, what I've done with this as well, is I put on top of the roof, which is sort of at that level there, I added, uh, you know, a level of uh, a three layer um, kind of railing and little enclosed section around it so that a tree can grow there. And what I wanted to kind of have going there was you know the trees are kind of growing on the sides of the cliff and you know it makes it look a little more kind of uh, enclosed and that's why I planted that tree there because I really want to have it sort of look like it's very of the forest hey wow that looks like a face and I didn't, didn't even realize uh, I wanted to kind of have you know all of the houses and the entire sort of town itself look like it's very much of the forest so uh, that's the one change we've made there and in doing so as well what I've also done is added a few more little uh, bits and pieces of flour here as well flower soil now the other thing you might have noticed is we now have a stairway here and there was a few reasons for this the intention for the future again as well with this was because I've got all of this space up here to build, all the way up to here, this was going to be truly a town, which was what I always intended. I mean, I've always wanted it to be a town, which means I was going to build a lot of little residences and a lot of little houses along the way. And what I sort of had planned was a little bit of a kind of community 
kind of park here with a lot of, uh, you know, seating areas and, you know, a little sort of less like the Botanic Gardens because the Botanic Gardens really doesn't have too many seating areas. There's only a couple of little sort of sections there and it's not really as big, I guess, as this and as open as this. But what I wanted to have here is sort of a little kind of community area. So that was the rationale behind me adding this little uh, side stairwell up here. As well as that, the, uh, the hunter here can actually kind of, uh, kind of come out and uh, cruise around and visit other people in the town. Because the intent is to have a pathway that comes along here. And that'll be running up here to different residences. There'll be some residences here. And depending on if I end up eventually doing it, I'd really eventually like to have sort of like a, uh, a dwarven cave almost. And it's gonna, I'd like to have it all through there. So it won't very be, uh, it won't sort of be very deep or very long or anything, but uh, you know that's the eventual intent. And the other thing that we've now fixed and is now complete is the pathway that comes along here, and this runs all the way from where the community are going to be living over to here and over to the botanic gardens and. As well as that, they can uh, go down to the town centre via those stairs there. I did possibly have another idea that I could perhaps utilise something down here. However, I'm still toying with the idea that we could hollow uh, this section sort of above my head here to here out and have it as a sort of display area for similar to what we've got here where you can kind of you know see through the window you can see at night time where what all the goods are that the survivor kind of sells so we may sort of do that and the other thing i could do as well is Perhaps put a little path from here, uh, running up to here somehow. So, uh, other than sort of going all the way down, I could kind of have it come down here and, and add on. I don't really know as yet, but as with all of the changes I make, I just kind of, you know, with these stairs and this whole thing, I just, it just happened today. I, you know, I was kind of like, ah, oh, it'd be kind of nice if I had some stairs. And then I just kind of started and it was done. So it's not like I kind of have like a a plan where I go, yep, it's, I'm totally going to do this and it's going to be right there. It's just kind of a thing that happens generally most of the time. So, but I mean, the whole thing's kind of really coming together really well now anyway. Uh, all of these trees along here have all grown out really well now. This tree here is obnoxiously huge and I don't like it so, no I don't mind it at all I'm joking um, I've had a look at these trees here as well because that was one of the originals that one there and these two were here here were ones that I planted and I've taken a look at them from various sections along here and I don't mind the way they are I, th I think they're, they're just fine taking a look from at them from different sections to make sure they're not sort of too large or too in the road of anything and they look like they're just fine so, so you can see there they don't look too bad all right well yeah that's gonna be it for us basically for now I'll keep you up to date on any further changes that I make along the way. There will be a lot more changes. And as you would have seen in the previous uh, farmer video, a lot of changes have gone on there in the residence here for the farmer and her little stall and all the rest of it. So there's plenty of changes upcoming and the town is really coming together. All right. Well, once again, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time on Glitch Gaming.